first of all, I logged into your website. So I'm in the dashboard and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new page. So we just go over here and we're going to say add new and we're going to create one for each of the three picnic areas that you wanted. So I'll do that. So the first one I'll do is Bartholomew Park. So I'll name that Bartholomew. That's the name of the page. And then since you created the text in Word, let me just go over to that doc. And here we have um, Bartholomew Park. So I'm going to just copy this. And as you said, you're going to add those photos later. So I'm not going to cap. I'm not going to copy that. I'm going to do each little piece um, at a time. So I'm going to copy that. Command C. Come back over to the blog, which says Paste from Word. So let's click on the Paste from Word. Brings up this dialog box, and I'm going to paste that in. And you can see it has crap in here that we don't want, so I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to cut the picnic spot because that's we don't want that in there either. So I highlight what I want to delete, and I delete that. And there's extra space here. I don't want that either. Now I'm going to say Insert. And that brings it into the blog. And here, let me make the window a little bit smaller so you can actually see that. And then let's just take a preview and be sure that's what we want it to look like. So far, so good. So let me go back to the page where we're editing. And now we want to go back over to Word. Uh, and you know that you're going to have you know that you're going to have an image there. So I'm going to actually put an, a return, uh, an extra return in. And let's go and capture the rest of the the text that you want. That. Again, Command C. We'll just come back over here. And again, we don't want all of that. That's what would happen if I just did a copy paste directly from Word into your document. So that brings in the next piece. And let's see, is there anything else that we want to put in here? Okay, so I'm going to copy all of that. Come back over here. Again, we can we can do paste as plain text or paste from Word, but we'll do paste from Word. And let's just get rid of that little header crapola. I'm deleting the extra spaces. Um, extra one there, extra one there, extra one there. And uh, let's insert that. And the nice thing is, it brought your um, it brought your link right over. And you can verify that by switching to the HTML version. Scrolling down, and you can see there is your link. Very cool. And let's preview this again. Actually. There's the window, so here we can take a look, and so we know you're going to put an image in here, probably going to put another one in here, and now you can see that there are a few extra spaces, but I think that gives you a good idea, so let's go back over here. What I probably would recommend doing too, um, this has to do with how your blog is read by the search engines. So in Word, you had just used bolded um, text. I'm gonna take that off, and instead, I'm going to tell it to be a heading two. And I'm also, over here, we're gonna use heading three. So that's some formatting that will make your blog more readable and it tells search engines that the structure of the page. So it'll it'll start with your page title and then it will look for um, headings one, two, and three and the content. 
So we're going to go ahead and let's, um, I'm going to save that as a draft. You can see the permalink right here. This is the permalink. I'm going to copy that. So even though we haven't published it yet, no worries. Oh, and I did forget something. Um, the, the parent page on this is going to be Sonoma. We've just saved this as a draft page, and now we're going to go to your existing page called Sonoma. So I'm going to click on All Pages. And let's go over here. Here's the Sonoma page, and we want to edit that. And I'll just scroll down here. Oh, interesting. We've got all bolded text there, and I don't think that's really what we want. I'm going to actually fix that while I'm here. Let me take that out. Yep, that should be a regular paragraph, and I'm going to do a return, and now I'm going to um, type in the heading picnics or picnic spots, and we're going to give it an H2 heading and this is where you're going to have images and links to the pages that we're just now creating and for this one we're going to do a link to the Bartholomew Park so let me just type in Bartholomew Park I'm going to highlight Bartholomew Park and I think I'm also going to give it we're going to make it an H3 but now we're going to make it a, into a link so I'm going to click the link insert the link and we know it's going to link within your blog I'm just going to paste it in because that's the link and it is Bartholomew Park and that's fine it looks open to um, a new window and now if we preview the change on your page scroll down here and I can see if I click on that It'll bring up, oh, sorry, it's not going to do it till I publish it. So let me go back and do that. Bartholomew Park, edit that. I'm going to publish it. Now that I've published it, if I go back to our previous page, to Sonoma, okay, so here's our Sonoma page, and here's Bartholomew Park. Let's preview the changes. And here we go. And now if I click on that, lo and behold, it will bring up that page. So that's what you do. You create your, you create the pages first, then you insert a link to them in an existing location. When you are creating the pages, since you're talking about picnic areas, let's just go back over to, here's the one on Sonoma Overlook Trail. Um, now, this is a sub page of your Sonoma page. So Sonoma Overlook Trail is under the Sonoma pages, so they're gonna show up there. But in the uh, meta keywords, Let's put in Picnic, Sonoma Overlook Trail, and Sonoma. And we'll go up here. We're going to update that. And we're now going to go over to our site options. because we have some new pages that we want to show up. And so right now you can see these pages aren't gonna show up anywhere because they aren't 
checked. So to be sure that they do show up, we're going to click on the little quick boxes here, little check boxes, and um, because these are sub pages of Sonoma, we have nested categories. So I'm going to just pop those over there. Whoops. There we go. There we go. And then let's just take a look. There's our big save button. Let's look at the site and be sure things are where we expect them to be. So now when we click on Sonoma, We'll have Sonoma Bartholomew Park, Jack London State Park, and the Overlook Trail. And here, just so we can be sure that they're all showing up where they should, here's Bartholomew Park, Jack London Park, and Sonoma Overlook Trail. So, in summary, what you want to do is you have your parent page where you already had some content. This is the Sonoma page. We added links to new pages. So you would create the new pages, then copy their URLs. And the way that you do that, here we'll go to all pages again. So here's Bartholomew Park. We created that new page. I copied this information, the permalink, just do control V. Then we would go back to our original page. And actually I can get there. I can get there more than one way. So I'm going to just go back over here to our Sonoma page. Edit page. Then I go over here. Here's Bartholomew Park. I would highlight this information. Click on my link button, paste that in, give it a title, tell it to open in a new window and update. Oops, so that you can see that because you can't see that. And then we would update that. And then be sure you always update anytime you make a change. And then we can view the page just to be sure everything is working. And here are your links. So that's how you add links.